Hello and warm welcome to all of you all. Now, there's often a question like, you want to be a great leader? Now, what is that triggering factor to a great leader? It has to be leadership skills. And how would you identify leadership skills? It's a simple question, but let's take a dig and know it. How these 20 leadership qualities that if you have it in you or you might acquire it, you definitely become a great leader. Let's understand this. Leadership is a skill that is used in every organization at every level. High level executives, managers and contributors all use leadership to drive activities and projects forward. Whether you are leading a team or a meeting, developing leadership skills that make you an effective leader is a goal you can strive for at any stage in your career. In this particular shoot, we'll definitely cover the various qualities that make a great leader and discuss ways we can improve our soft skills. So key leadership qualities, what are they? While there are many different qualities that can contribute to a great leader, there are a few common ones that can be helpful when developing leadership skills. First, accountability. It is important that leaders hold themselves and their teams accountable for the work each is responsible for. Ownership is a key part of leadership. Second, active listening. Leaders may receive feedback from team members and they need to not only hear them but really listen. What is the person trying to tell you but may not be saying exactly? Leaders do well when they learn how to ask the right questions to find out helpful information. Third, collaboration. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. African proverb, many leaders need to collaborate across direct reports. The organization and outside the organization with vendors third-party companies and contractors. It is key to find the common goal and create a partnership instead of unhealthy competition or confusion on responsibilities. Fourth, courage. Leaders must have courage in many various instances such as correcting behavior or making unpopular decisions. Fifth, communication. Communicating in an articulate and positive style creates a clear path for the rest of the team. Project or meeting you are leading to follow. Sixth, empathetic. It is important for leaders to understand how the people around them are feeling about projects, decisions, morale, direction and company or team vision. Seventh, flexible. Working with a team of common of people means tasks, goals and responsibilities will shift. A flexible leader is able to adjust and maintain ownership of the team, project or meeting as needed. Eighth, focus. Being clear on goals will help the rest of the leader's team be efficient and focused. Number nine. Growth Mindset Leaders do well when they adopt a growth mindset. Circumstances often change from when a project, challenge or issue originally surfaced. Leaders have to take into consideration that technology may have evolved or personal issues may have arisen for their team. If they can keep a growth mindset and are willing to adapt, they can usually keep the project moving, even if adjustments need to be made. Number 10. Humility Great leaders admit their mistakes and elevate those around them. Humility is essential when leading a team. 11. Innovation Leaders should be able to develop ideas, filter the ideas of others, solve problems and complete many other tasks that require innovation and creativity. 12. Passion Teams are motivated by a drive 
towards a common goal the leader of a team should be passionate about the goal creating unity among their team to work together 13 patience mistakes miscommunications and failures are inevitable it is important for leaders to be patient and offer guidance through these times 14 problem solving developing problem solving skill, skills allows teams to move past roadblocks with minimal disruption 15 resilience leaders bear the responsibility to improve the areas of the business or team that they own this might mean creating new processes hiring new people or changing the status quo number 16 respect great leaders treat their teams with respect gaining respect in return they value feedback and want to hear the opinions of their teammates 17 transparency being open and honest makes work more efficient and enjoyable 18 trust leadership requires delegation when leaders trust their team to complete what they are assigned it encourages positive morale and mutual respect number 90 self awareness many leaders are leaders because they express the skills and knowledge required for a certain role in an organization or a specialty consider authors or keynote speakers these experts need to possess the self awareness to be able to hone in on what they really know what they may not be an expert in and how to bring in that knowledge it's okay to not know everything and a leader relies on the other subject matter experts around them number 20th hunger for knowledge leaders are effective and inspirational when they stay knowledgeable of moving trends and the topics they are leading not only does this help leaders on their crafts and contribute to their purposes but it also helps to inspire the team to continue learning too these are just a few important qualities found in great leaders while these are all soft skills or people skills having strong technical skills in your industry is also necessary when assuming a leadership position you just cannot stand in isolation without coming from the domain knowledge that you should necessarily possess and you do not have it so it starts with hard skills and soft skills slowly when you are imbibing and consciously making change in yourself will help you to grow so how to improve your leadership skills learning soft skills is not as straightforward as learning technical skills while it does take time and practice developing qualities that make you a great leader as possible there are a few tips for improving your leadership skills and qualities identify your leadership style while you use different leadership styles in different situations it can be helpful to define how you want to lead your team projects or meetings so define areas of strengths and areas for improvement take some to consider which qualities you have already honed and which you might need to focus on asking for professional feedback from trusted colleagues or mentors can help you identify strengths and weaknesses you might have missed you may consider taking the clinton strengths assessment by gallup to help identify your top 5 strengths when you take the assessment you will also receive a detailed report on how to utilize these strengths try not to worry too much about what you may consider your weaknesses or areas of improvement you will also be able to identify ways you can work well with others and lead others who will have a different set of five top strengths set goals to gain skills setting personal goals to improve your leadership skills by practicing the qualities of great leaders can provide a focused framework Using smart goals allows you to improve on specific qualities that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time based. That's what smart stands for. Example, goal I want to exercise more. Smart goal I will add walking 3 times a week and yoga 2 times a week to my weekly schedule starting next week. Walking Monday, Wednesday, Friday and yoga Tuesday and Thursday. 
I'll keep track of my exercise in my daily planner and look back in one month to see if this was realistic and achievable with my current schedule. Setting a smart goal as also allows you a chance to see if the goal is something that is really doable. There is no judgment in the goal. If it turns out that you are not able to fit and walking three times a week and yoga two times a week, you can set a new smart goal that feels a bit more realistic and attainable in your current situation. Find a mentor. Identify a person who you feel is a great leader and whose actions you would like to imitate. You might consider someone from your childhood that was a mentor without even being asked. Like a teacher, coach, band instructor, trainer, ask them to be your current mentor or find a new one in an area that interests you. Industry idol. Use the opportunity to learn from them and adopt the qualities that make them effective. You can find mentors in your community through friends and family or even looking up experts or alumni in, on professional networking sites. Be patient. Becoming a great leader can take months, years or even decades. Some people dedicate their entire lives to, become, to becoming great leaders. Be patient and allow yourself to make mistakes. Great leaders make many mistakes. Learn from them and improve over time. Also, consider that you may be a different type of leader during different phases of your life. You may be a president of an organization in college, move into a volunteer position while working and then even lead your childhood, school or hobby related group. There are many ways to be a leader and the titles often don't matter. Paying attention to Honing in on and improving upon qualities that make you a great leader can help you on your career path. No matter your career level or industry, investing time to practice great leadership can lead to career advancement. I hope you have got all the point, right? So leaders are not born, they are made. And few skill sets that you can acquire from these 20 basic skill sets would definitely make you a better leader. But Practice. Thank you.